Having a clean PC is really nice. Just like washing your car, everybody knows it's faster when it's clean. But is your PC actually faster when it's clean? Now I know plenty of people who religiously clean their PC, once or even twice a week. And I get that it's nice to have a clean PC and all, but don't you think that might be a little bit much? I can't help but think that it's a little bit of overkill and maybe even dangerous to your sensitive PC components. Now, I work on cars for a living, and something I've noticed is that the more you take something apart, the higher the chances that you might damage something, like your GPU or your tempered glass side panel. Oh my god, every like it's like every other day there's a post of like somebody putting their their tempered glass side panel down on like tile and it just exploding. <laughs> You're like, it's ceramic, it's bad. Keep your side panel away from tile. It's like D&D, the more dice you roll, the higher the chance you have of rolling a one and then you cry. So here we have our Dell OptiFlex 9010 gaming PC, AKA the OptiFlex. It's got an Intel i7, 3770, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a low profile Nvidia GTX 1650. And for less than $400, this thing tears up 1080p gaming. For the last year, it's been on loan to my buddy Alex, who couldn't build a PC or buy a console due to all the shortages, so I hooked him up. But he's got two cats, and to keep this high-powered gaming beast from overheating, you have to keep the side panel open. So that's caused it to collect quite a bit of cat hair and dust on the fans and coolers. Now this is, in my opinion, not a ton of dust for an entire year of running probably non-stop inside of a small apartment with two cats. But it may, for you watching at home, seem like quite a bit of dust. And even I would definitely clean this thing up even if we weren't doing this video. <laughs> but let's get a baseline to see how it does currently. At idle, the processor and graphics card both run at about 35 degrees. In Cinebench, the CPU scored a 3659, maxing out at 86 degrees. In a Furmark burn-in test for the GPU, it got up to 86 degrees and downclocked to 1350 megahertz in about four minutes. Keep in mind that number because the hotter it gets, the more it's going to downclock. If it does run cooler, it may be clocking even higher. In some gaming benchmarks, the Nasty Plex scored a 3537 on a time spy benchmark and averaged 56 FPS in shadow of the benchmark. Now let's clean it up to see if it runs any better. Y'all are gonna hate this. And there it is, a perfectly clean, I say perfectly clean, I feel like there's a little bit of like residue left over from um, some like devil's lettuce or something, I'm not entirely sure, kind of annoying. Don't do drugs, kids. Unsurprisingly, we did see some improvement in temperatures because, well, more airflow, more heat transfer taking place. At idle, the CPU and GPU both ran at about two degrees colder at uh, 33 Celsius. In Cinebench R23, it didn't run all that much better, but it did run a lot cooler. I say a lot cooler, it did run four degrees cooler. Given that this is not me controlling fan temps at all, it's naturally just running cooler on its own. And it only scored at 3650, which is about nine points less than it did before, so no real improvement there. In Furmark, we saw a massive improvement, really. Like, it was a nine degree drop, that helped us out with an extra 15 megahertz, but the time that it took to get to peak temperature was much longer. The GPU was very happy that it was cleaned off. I'm sure that does count for a few frames as in the gaming benchmarks, it did score slightly higher in TimeSpy at uh, 3,558. 
And then in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we saw an extra three FPS, which is like 5%, if that. <laughs> so overall, not really huge gains. Should you keep your computer clean? Absolutely. But if you don't, don't lose any sleep over it being a little dirty. It's designed to get that way. <laughs> you know, you can only keep so much dust out and letting a little bit in isn't going to hurt anything. So anyway, that's gonna do it for today, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Get subscribed for future OptiFlex content. We got a piece coming up here soon, so stay tuned for that. Leave a comment on uh, what you think about this old bad boy. <laughs> and like always, we'll see you next time.